the basics. All you need is a notebook, any notebook. It can be a notebook where you write down notes. You know those notebooks that we used to have in school that you have for school, whatever. If it's empty, you can use it. Even if you just have paper, loose paper in a binder, use that. It doesn't have to be something fancy where it says journal. It can be anything, to be honest. Small or big, whatever size it is, if you want a big one. If you want a small one that you can carry with you or you can have multiple journals for something specific and something else. I know I used to have a journal journal where I journaled every day and I had another separate one that was also like a journal, but I would write down my dreams. So but I stopped doing that. So you can use it for anything. You can have as many as you want, any size, whatever it is. And I suggest using a pen, not a pencil, because when you use a pencil, it has an eraser and you're tempted to erase things when you don't want to erase anything. I don't normally erase anything. I just go with the flow. I don't regret anything. But sometimes if, you know, you misspell a fucking word, I cross it out or whatever. I don't erase anything. I just keep writing and writing. And I might write something where I might not mean. And then I continue it with, oh, I actually didn't mean that. I actually meant it like this. That's why I'd suggest a pen. And I just feel like it has more power. Like it's a pen, you know, like it marks it. A pencil is just like, it's light. And I'm telling you, you're tempted to erase. And it's just... I'd suggest a pen. You could do any color. I do black, but you can do any color that you fucking want, to be honest. Don't white out anything. You might feel a little bit intimidated by the pen because you might think, what if I make a mistake? Or what if, you know, but there are no mistakes when you're journaling. And that's how I was at first. I said, fuck, like a pen, that means I have to really think about what to write and I have to not say something i'll regret or make any mistakes it's fucking fine it's perfectly fucking fine there's no mistakes like i said if you misspell something okay cross it out but don't regret anything if you didn't mean it then just keep on going and say hey i didn't mean it like this i actually meant this and that and it's just i feel like more powerful with a pen you know <laughs> it like creates some magic so how to start journaling get your pen get your paper your notebook and just start writing never force anything you might not know where to start what to write about so i'd suggest asking yourself how you are feeling and write it down you might just say happy at first you might just say sad angry that's fine you know even if it's just a fucking word dude even if you just write down the date for one day that's perfectly fine the fact that you attempted to is enough. Don't ever force yourself to journal if you don't feel like it. I try to journal every day and I have journaled every day except for one day this year. And I just completely forgot about it. I was just so busy, but I was busy doing stuff for me. You know, it's not like I was out or I was on my phone, you know. So that's one thing too. If you just forget and if you just, you know, didn't get to it, that's perfectly fine. Don't beat yourself up for it. But pay attention to why, okay? If you just got caught up in other things and other tasks, okay. But if you went out with your friends, if you chose to go out with them instead of journaling, if you chose to be on your phone instead of journaling, then you got to do something about that. You know what I'm saying? Because you're choosing something else instead of you. There's also no amount that you need to journal. You don't have to do a full page half a page or whatever it all depends on how you are feeling that day and what you want to journal i sometimes write a couple sentences i write down you know a, a paragraph two paragraphs sometimes i do pages do the pages it all depends on how i'm feeling it just it depends on the day you know so don't pressure yourself don't force yourself to keep writing and keep writing just write down whatever you want to do you can take a moment and talk to yourself before reflect on anything reflect on yesterday or what you want to do today and write it down whatever it is don't ever force yourself because then you start to overthink and this and that and what i suggest is writing down your feelings first because when you think about it too much you get caught up in your thoughts and you're like fuck like what should i journal about you can write down thoughts that's perfectly fine as well but you then overthink it and it's it's not hard you just journal whatever you want to journal about there's no right and wrong answer there's not one thing you should journal about sometimes i mostly write about my feelings but if i have 
too much going on in my head and I have I, I call it this little war if I'm just at work with myself and all these thoughts are going on I write those thoughts down I write down what I'm thinking and it clears my mind put down the thoughts what it is and I feel more calm and at peace and not so chaotic up in my mind so you can write down thoughts but if you are a beginner i'd suggest with asking yourself how you feel because that way it's it's just an easy response you know and it's something easy because when, when you think about it you might think of something and then you think of another thing and it's just too much too much going on in your mind all these thoughts and with feelings you can have multiple feelings but it's it's not as many you know and I mean, I've never really felt like happy and angry. <laughs> you know, you're either feeling one or the other. So you're probably just feeling happy or you're just feeling angry or sad. And it might be short like that at first. You might just write down, I'm feeling sad. 